Massive changes coming to Madden 23, Apex Legends Season 14 updates and an insane clutch during a $120 Madden 22 match. Let's talk about it. Welcome back for episode 10 of This Week on 1v1 Me. I'm your host, Michael, and I'll be going over all of the news in the world of 1v1 Me and competitive gaming. Let's get right into the top plays captured on 1v1 Me. The person who clips the best moment will be receiving $20 to use on the platform. Coming in at number 3, we have Echo 2 k playing in a $4 FIFA 22 match. He has the ball right here with three defenders around him. They seem like they can't get the ball away. He's going to push up the field, he shoots, and he scores. Let's go, Messi. Stopping at number 2, we have DC975 playing in a $10 Warzone match. Looks like he's going to camp the edge of the storm right here, and he's looking for some people. He found one, it looks like he takes him out, another one appears, takes him out, and that looks like a squad wipe to me. He's going to move into this building right here. Alright, so he's camping in this corner, he spots someone outside, takes him out, and that's actually going to ping the enemy's teammates, which are actually above him. It looks like he's repositioning to upstairs, and he's going to jump out the window. He finds two people, takes one out without even aiming in, takes out the other. Wow. It looks like the last enemy is actually going to come from behind him. He takes him out as well. That is some great map awareness. This week's best clip is by Tone2Big, playing a $120 Madden 22 match. It looks like he's going to hike the ball right here with the Philadelphia Eagles, and he's going to run around a little bit. He goes to throw the ball, and it actually gets intercepted. Unless something big happens right here, it looks like he's going to lose the match. Oh, and he actually fumbles the ball, picks it back up. If the Philadelphia Eagles can score right here, they're going to send it into overtime, and it looks like he will. How in the world did this happen? Getting right into the Call of Duty news, we have the pro player Sensor talking about a Call of Duty event that could be taking place in Saudi Arabia. We're hoping that there's going to be a... Um a tournament coming up in Saudi Arabia at the end of August. It'll have a prize pool as big as Call of Duty Champs and all expenses will be paid. It's only waiting for Activision's approval and all of the best teams in the game will be competing. In terms of Warzone, all snipers received a 35% bonus to their maximum damage range. We also got a nerf to the Serpentine perk which decreased its damage reduction from 20% to 15%. On top of this, we have a list of guns that were buffed and nerfed. The list goes on and on, but were there any guns that you use that were buffed or nerfed? Activision also confirmed that Warzone 2 will have a 2022 release date shortly after MW2 comes out. Speaking of Modern Warfare 2, there were files found in the game that reference a campaign early access for the game. Finally, files were also found in the game that point to an Umbrella Academy collaboration coming to Call of Duty. Personally, I think it would look sick, but let me know what you think. Over the weekend, we hosted our very first stakeable tournament, allowing viewers to back a team with money. If the team they picked placed first, second, or third, they'll be walking away with some money. And unfortunately, the teams with the most stakes on them were eliminated before getting into the top three. By the end of the tournament, we had Team Forda taking third, Team Ari taking second, and Team Shaz taking first. Be sure to stay tuned to the app because we'll be hosting way more stakeable tournaments in the future. Love you, want me finals? Go, w, baby. baby. That's W City right there. In a Moving into some Madden news, we have some massive updates coming to Madden 23. The very first thing is that the AI has been improved, so the defense will be able to guard you much better. So this means one play touchdowns will be much harder to do. The escape artists for quarterbacks have been removed and will now be X factors. This will make it much harder to roll out of the pocket and defensive linemen will now target the quarterback instead of sticking on the offensive lineman. One of the best plays to use in Madden is a cross route, but like I mentioned earlier, the AI has been improved so these won't be as easy to get off. Low ball passes can't be abused anymore because they will be much more inaccurate. Finally, the flip play reset has been nerfed. The offense will now have to redo their hot routes when doing so, which makes it so the defense can adjust. Personally, I think these are some pretty solid changes to Madden, but let me know what you think about them. Moving into the Apex Legends news, we have a bunch of updates when it comes to Season 14. In this, 1500 levels were added. You'll be able to loop the 500 three extra times, which grants 544 packs, meaning that anyone can get an heirloom for completely free as long as they're willing to level up. The Vault and Scout will be removed from the care package and will be replaced by the Bow and Rampage. We have a brand new legend named Vantage and a bunch of weapon reworks. Included in this, the Wingman will now take sniper bullets and the Spitfire will now take light 
ammo. In the Eve 8, we'll be getting a buff. The Skull Piercer returns for the Wingman, Longbow, and 30-30. The Laser Sight will be added to the game for SMGs and pistols to reduce the hipfire spread. We have some changes to gold items. The Knockdown Shield will be getting its self revive removed, and the Guardian Angel will be added to it. The Backpack will have Guardian Angel removed, but instead have deep pockets, allowing you to stack extra meds. Finally, King's Canyon will be getting a bunch of changes. I'll let the video we posted on TikTok explain it for you. There's a new POI called Relic. We have changes to the cage. The building was removed from Hillside. The buildings and zip lines were added to Relay. The connection to destroyed bridges in mid-map has been removed. The cave connection between Marketplace and River Center has been removed. The small cave at Marketplace has been moved and widened. The choke point near the cage has been modified. Finally, the skybox and lighting have been adjusted.